A soul coins? What the hell? <laughs> Distract her with your lust for a starion. Welcome back, my oodles and oodles to more Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you liked that little intermission video on Wednesday. Was that nice? Hopefully it was nice. <laughs> I haven't made it yet. I'm recording ahead of schedule like a good content creator should. At least I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be consistent. I also just finished this audiobook. I could not put it down. Uh, not until... <laughs> not until I actually finished it. So I was like waiting for the last minute here. I'm, I'm gonna find it. Yeah, for all my for all my readers who love romance, of course, fantasy romance or so romanticy, please go find Shardless. It was a book that was recommended time and time again on the, you know, Instagram when you're scrolling and stuff like that. I'd been like, yeah, I, I mean, it sounds really cool. I just, you know, it just never came up. But I found on Audible, since I have the, I have a pass, you can listen to it for free and it's 20 hours. It was huge. So of course, naturally i finished it within a day so or, or close to it but would recommend it's really good i was really really excited so i had to finish that so now i'm here now we're recording and we are at the last light in stuff went down last time if you guys remember you all are also so kind to me letting me know that i really need to do a bit more exploring here in this last light in i don't think there are children here i could be wrong but the children that i helped save back in Emerald's Grove? Druid's Grove? I don't think that they're here. They're their mole's children when mole got taken, which, you know what? Might as well. Let's recap. Since setting foot into the Shadow Curse lands and taking a pit stop at Moonrise Towers, we traveled back to the Last Light Inn. Since we kind of did things out of order, in a sense, I didn't mean to do things out of order, but since summoning the Drider, I really didn't want to leave his protection of the Moon Lantern, and so he guided me naturally to Moonrise Towers. We've been hearing a lot about Catheric Thorm, and only recently did he send his lackey Marcus to abduct a cleric protecting the town of the Last Light Inn. She is the only thing standing between the Shadow Curse and protection. Her name was Isabel. We have no idea why the cult would even want her alive. If anything, it would just be easier to kill her and then the town would be unprotected. But instead of killing her, they wanted to kidnap her, which is interesting. Upon stumbling into the waning moon, a deserted tavern filled with ghouls and basically dead people walking. We talked to a brewer who I couldn't even begin to describe to you what he even was, but the brewer revealed some very interesting information about Catheric Thorm's relic. And from what we understand about Catheric, I'm sorry, it's Catheric Thorm, not Catheric. It's just really hard for me to blow the words together all nice and neat. He revealed information about Catheric Thorm's relic and mentioned that her cage is located in the Thorm Mausoleum. It's unclear who who this woman is, but Ketherick must have caged her for a reason. She has to be linked to the Shadow Curse. We don't really know how, but we're gonna find out. We're also in the middle of trying to lift the Shadow Curse, and the only lead that we currently have is to investigate the House of Healing. There was a man sleeping at the Last Light Inn who was in a catatonic state and cannot wake up, but he's linked to this curse somehow. And so is this child. This child, I think his name was, yeah, Thaniel. Thaniel is linked to this curse, but we don't know how either. All of these little pieces are all scattered and we gotta start putting the puzzle together. But we found this man's last orders to investigate the House of Healing. If we follow his in his footsteps, we might learn more about him. In turn, learning more about where Thaniel is. And that's kind of where we are. We have a lot of little individual companion side stories that we're following and trying to complete as well. Getting Karlak her new heart, of course. That's important to me. We're tracking Mole's progress, the tiefling Mole, if you remember. Uh, Mole we're tracking her progress as she's trying to keep her kids safe. What she means by her kids is obviously the several, I would call them orphan children, street urchin children that she roams with. She basically protects them like a mother hen should. And as you guys can clearly see, there are no children here. So I don't <laughs> I don't know where the children would be. I don't think that they're here. Oh, I can get up here. Ooh, I did not know that. The Queen of Ravens. Highlighted from the other chapters in this work by gorgeous little pictures and artistic renditions of the events described, you can read the following. In the time of shattered allegiances between elven gods and with the ad adulation of the Shadar Kai elves in her pocket, the woman bid her followers elevate her to godhood. Do it, and I'll for reforge our broken pantheon, she said. Do it, and I'll make things sweet and synchron synchronous synchronous again and they did 
all but the dissenters in her avid flock who during the ritual of godly ascension tried to wrest power from the woman at the crucial moment she tore the dissenters apart with the ritual irrevocably disturbed the queen and her shadar kai found themselves flung across the plains into the eerie and terrible realm called the Shadowfell. the journey killed her and yet from the corrupted ashes she rose a queen with both her eyes and her serving birds as dark as her ambition so she, so was born the raven queen mistress of life and death are they talking about lady shar am i wrong to assume that that was a story about lady shar or or it even sounded a little like Lakith? Shadar Kai? Then doesn't that sound like a Gith Yankee word? Sorry, I'm gonna move forward. We're gonna be traveling through the Shadow Curse Lands today and doing a little bit of exploring, but I'm trying to find the kids that you guys talked about. Mole's kids. I don't think that I get the option to talk to them, but I might as well just keep looking. Oh, I didn't go into that little... I didn't even know there was a room over there. I, let's go... F <laughs> okay. <laughs> Clearly, I've not done a lot of exploring. Yeah, I never went up here. Do you think they're up here? I didn't even know there was a... I didn't even know there was something up here. A rustic chest. Well... They are not up here. Where should we go first? I'm assuming we should probably go a bit more this way so we can eventually hit in the House of Healing, more Infernal Iron, and more Infernal Iron. Yeah, I was actually just about to mention that it looked like an ambush. Let's go ahead and just kill him. Might as well, right? Huge bumps in the dark. This, um, what is this? Those gross creatures. They kept, they took a starion all the way over here. He just kept teleporting my little vampire all the way <laughs> away from me. Don't take my vampire. Please and thank you. Oh my god, this potter's chest took me forever to get up here. Look, I had to like stack little boxes. So I don't ever have to do that. All right, but there's a letter in here. So clearly we're going to go ahead and read that. A potter's note. Mood maiden, protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequence in this short life. Keep these artifacts of your devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother, Halfred. Ooh, we actually... Why do I know that name? Halfred, in his efforts to conceal the rest of our your relics, let the name Last Light not be a portent. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Idol of Saloon. S oh, yeah, 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 because I picked that up. I picked that up in, this, in the little Cell Unite um, area, right? Am I... I think... Hmm. I don't know. It's hard. I, I've read Halfred before. Was Halfred about that note that was... There was a little note in the last light. A little note in the crevice of a of a of of the floorboards. Maybe that's what that was. I wonder if I just keep going this way. I don't, I'm not sure. It's a little spooky town over here. True Soul Corliss. What is with these like weird ghost lanterns? A lost backpack. Journal log of a true soul Corliss. Okay, that's the dead guy over there. Good good reading today so far. Journal log of true soul Corliss, day four. Scouting mission dispatched by Ketherick Thorm to Shadowlands. Objective, locate nest of absolute non-believers. Reached outskirts of village. Disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows. Must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. Well, clearly he did not make it. <laughs> clearly it did not protect him. Not even a parasite on him? Disappointing. I'm getting a little nervous with how many tadpoles we've picked up and used. I personally don't think we should keep using the tadpoles. I, I just, I think we should stop. I don't even use the powers, if I'm being honest. I wonder if we're gonna like find Zevlar here soon. Those were the dead tieflings, but yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure. There's always a choice when it comes to D&D &D stuff. And it makes me feel a little nervous to keep letting the parasite just eat up bits and pieces of my brain. So I may just stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I didn't even know in the beginning if I wanted to keep, oh, oh. 
Yeah, I didn't even know if I wanted to keep letting the parasites open up my mind. But sometimes in video games, you can't really tell if the game is just trying to be like, no, 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 you can do this. It's totally fine. It's part of the game. Just, you know, keep going. Or if the game's like, make a choice. You can either keep letting the little worm eat your brain or you don't have to. So I haven't been able to figure out if it's part of the game inherently, like you should do it. Sometimes you just do it because it's part of the main story, but I'm not sure. But we've got some interesting stuff in here. Harper interrogation transcripts. I'm so sorry. For those who are now just tuning in, you know I like to read things. It gives me a little bit more information to kind of build on, even though I don't retain a lot up here. Sometimes just enough jogs my memory to connect the dots. So official interrogation transcript, Harper in charge. Caladove Everspring, transcriber, Luna Thorn Shorn, CE, your name, DT, Dal, Dal Timber, ma'am, CE, occupation, DT, farmer, ma'am, potatoes, CE, a farmer, hmm, pauses, how many guards has Thorn stationed out the south wall, Dal Timber, DT, what do you mean, south wall, CE, do not play f the fool with me, Timber. The moonrise, uh, south wall. DT, I don't know, I swear it. CE, liar, pauses. Write this down, Luna. Thorm spy refuses to cooperate. Harsher measures required. Pause. I said write it down. <laughs> this shouldn't be funny. It's just, I love, I love it. Ring of Twilight. You gain plus one bonus to armor class while obscured. Uh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh no, I don't use I don't use obscurity very much, but that's still good to have. I am a bit worried. I think that this is where the shadow curse gets a bit thick. Yeah. Now this is a problem. Okay, maybe maybe I just blunt my way through the bridge. <laughs> maybe I just butt my head very aggressively till we get to wherever this is. Infernal iron. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just run. Okay. Well, we all are dying. <laughs> Your party has been defeated. Oh no. Well, shoot. Maybe it is worth going back to Moonrise. I don't think there's anything I can do. I think I have to go get the, that moon lantern. I have the blessing, but without the moon lantern, I can't go into these these darker areas. Maybe we can go convince the drider. I have a feeling we should try to go convince the drider. There's nothing we can do physically. I can't even make it to get the journal either. I can't find the ledger to give it to he who was. There's all this other area that I haven't explored yet, sure. But I think I think we should go to Moonrise. Let's just let's just walk inside. There's no harm in walking inside. At least. Maybe we could go up and uh, we could go see the drider. And then the drider can give us the moon lantern. We can maybe convince him. Maybe we can persuade him to give it to us. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover Another the secret of the absolute. The disciple wants to see. Hmm. Some good stuff already. Okay. A, tr a traitor already. Lant Lantarv. Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me, and here you are. Carla. What? Isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Oh, what? Who's Flo? Yeah, wait, Carlac, who's Flo? What did this person want with Carlac? Enough, I want to trade, not chat. <laughs> who's Flo? Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Hmm, is she a threat? If she rears her, rears her head, we'll handle her. What does she want with you? Nothing would surprise me. Maybe she wants to live up to her name and wrap a cord around my neck. Or maybe she just wants to say hello. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? The bitch had good jokes. <laughs> Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins? Soul coins, huh? 
This could come in handy. I already have soul coins. Let's have the soul coins then. What do you want soul co- Wait, what do you- So is he giving me soul coins or does he take soul coins? What do you want soul coins for? I'll explain later. Away from prying ears. But trust me, you'll be into it. I quite literally just put my soul coins back in my traveler's chest this episode. I have the weirdest knack for doing things the moment that I need things. I don't know why I put things away as soon as I need them. It's this inherent sixth sense I have for messing everything up. Let's have the soul coins then. What's a soul coin? Uh, yeah, what is a soul coin? Infernal currency. Each one is inscribed with a soul. Usually an evil soul, but not always. Okay, let's have the coins then. But she did have a condition. For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. We already have soul coins. We don't need yours. All this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. <laughs> Naturally. Just sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your flow did some devil woo woo and stuck him in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. Devil woo woo. I love that. Devil woo woo. Uh, get on with it. First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers, all named Balder. What? She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. Oh, that's so sad. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint, destined to be her soulmate, struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on her <laughs> Mavery. <laughs> Poor guy. That's awful. The of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Well, Carlac took that in straight. <laughs> Next coin, please. Listen has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. We'll put the coin to good use. He'll help us rid the realms of the place. That's absolutely vile. Next coin, please. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongear. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. What? That's all? What? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, <laughs> which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. Whinging? My part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to have. I was wondering when the soul coins were going to come into play because I have three soul coins and I did not know what to do with them at some point. So I literally just put them away because I have not had any use for them in 30 plus episodes. And I'm telling you when I say I've played this game for nearly like 40 hours so far, actually probably 40 or 50 hours now. Yeah. And I have not used these soul coins whatsoever. Uh, let me see your words. Okay. A sur sul sulfurious, sulfurious note to whom it may concern Frug or frog got his head stuck in a in a butter barrel and when his little imp thing tried to help him they both fell off the why am i having a hard time reading they both fell off a ledge into a volcano i laughed so hard zariel sent me out of the room other than that you haven't missed much though i have sure as hell missed you hello that's what it says that was a waste of time okay so hey we've got this soul coin right thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. 
Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Are you telling me that I can yoke up Karlak with a soul coin? That's going to be super helpful. I don't know how you wouldn't have Karlak in your party. Going to be honest. Aren't you afraid this is going overload, going to overload your engine? Got a coin slot in your heart or what? Soul coins are just that though. They contain people's souls. I'm not sure you should be using them. Let's find out. Go on and try it now. <laughs> Aren't you afraid this is going to, mm, I got a, yeah, got a coin slot in your heart? Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe to toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. I love that for us. Intriguing. What? Uh, next time we're in battle, I'll make sure to get one. Fuck yes. <laughs> now I just need something to sink my teeth into. That's awesome. She has no guilt about using the coins. Well, we have to go all the way to the top floor to grab the Dryder's attention. I'm a little nervous about that. Oh, we know this chick. She is part of the. Zentarum. Wow, it's been a while. She's in very odd places, but she was in the goblin camp. Ah, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be of service, true soul? Why is the Zentarum here? New face? We've met before at the goblin camp. Of course. Just before some godless lunatic purged the place of every innocent soul. I wonder who that would be. What happened? Careful, that sounds like an accusation. Really, you saw nothing at all. Speak for yourself, I had a pretty good view of the slaughter. I would hardly call the goblins their innocence. They were a little more frothing at the mouth than faithful, true enough. Here though, look around. All manner of beasties united against the enemies of the absolute. Quite a god to bring them all together and quite a fool who draw their ire, hmm? It's weird that she would be working for the the quest that I'm on in my current D&D &D campaign is interesting because the Zentarum and the Xanathar are there, but the Zentarum have some sub evil version of the Zentarum have branched off from the main group and are now causing like chaos and siding with evil and giving the Zentarum a bad reputation and name. And this is what this kind of reminds me of. I don't know why she's here, you know, doing business with the cultists because even though they're all about trade and things of specialties or like the, you know, the dark, the black market, I, it's this would be a very odd place to do it. I don't know. You almost sound concerned for my safety. Drop the act. What are you really doing here? I'm not the one putting on an act, true soul. Though I'd mind how well you mouth your prayers. Spend enough time in this place and you might just start to believe them. But look at me preaching, and when I'm only here to serve. Anything to trade, true soul? Hmm, yeah, they have some good stuff. I wouldn't mind looking around. I don't want to go too far. I'm going to save, which I just did. And I'm just going to kind of try to navigate my way around. I want to get all the way to the top, but I have a feeling that going all the way to the top means that I have to talk to Catherick Thorm. I was also told that I can easily come to Moonrise, but that... Oh, I thought this was mm, his majesty. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention for now. <laughs> okay. We, ne we never got anywhere with his majesty. Sorry, I don't even remember what I was saying. But sorry, your name is Steelclaw? Slithering vermin. They're called tadpoles. Murder every single one you find. The parasites are dangerous. Don't go near them. Slithering vermin? They're called tadpoles. Their not. Merely their demise. Oh, we have a cat. We have I a cat friend then. Waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many, and will butcher many more. But this one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. <laughs> I love this cat. I want to adopt it. Her, sorry. I want to adopt her. I want, I want to get this cat on my side. How boring. Surely you can be a bit more creative. Your mocking tone is a mistake. Your first and last. You clearly yearn for death. I wish no, 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 no. Sleep with one eye open. Furless one. No! Mutual respect. What? Did I really just gain an enemy? Did I? <laughs> I have two points.
points of inspiration for talking to a cat and the cat hates me no oh no i didn't want to i didn't want to make it um i didn't want to make a an enemy out of the cat this looks weird something slimy seems to be dripping okay I didn't get to actually read that. Thank you, audio. Mucus. It has no weaknesses. I can't kill it. Seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Ew. There are so many people in this building. Oh, this doesn't look good. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough! Wait, those goblins are familiar. It washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Don't kill them. They're loyal followers of the absolute. Keep silent and keep watching. Here, here. They're loyal followers of the absolute. I always mess up these little side things. I always manage to get someone killed. Don't kill them. They're loyal followers of the absolute. A new true soul come to share their wisdom. We did as we were told. We're loyal to the absolute. Kill him. Silence. True soul. You have seen these goblins at work, have you not? What say you? That voice sounds very familiar, like voice actor wise. I can't pinpoint who he is. They're faithful to the absolute. I'll give them that. Just kill them. They're worthless. Death is probably too good for them. Ooh, I would say because the cultists kind of work backwards here. I want to say that this option, death is probably too good for them, might save their lives. Death is probably too good for them. Alas, it's the best option. No! Mercy, General! Please! No! Kill them quickly. Oh, sorry. No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> well, I'm sorry. First of all, what a toss. Second of all, what the hell? <laughs> sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Oh, I'm glad I didn't stand up for you all the way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, right, because he's, he's a god, basically. He's, like, reached godhood. He can't be killed. Even Jahara put an arrow through his eye and oh this is lovely dispose of the rest as you see fit oh i know this voice actor put that true soul to use you have far more important matters to attend to or have you forgotten of course not my lord thank you Okay, that is kind of good. We stood, we didn't stand up for these guys all the way then. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you- Did I actually- Did I- Did I just save these guys? What am I meant to do with them exactly? Thank you. I'm going to enjoy this. Do. Have fun. Here in the seat of the absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. That's interesting that we when you're done. have access to this goblin we know very well. This one. You got Fezzerk. For old time's sake. <laughs> Spill your guts on the floor. I want to see you bleed. Not another word. In fact, not another breath from any of you. I'll give you a fair chance. Fight me. You either die or you kill me and you're free to go. Guards, release them. Uh, they, are mine to s they are mine to see fit. So I'm going to release them. But this option is hilarious. Uh, guards, release them. Oh, praise the absolute and praise her. I know, I'm very merciful. Mercy. <laughs> Goblins, mercy. Ugh. The half orc won't like this. The half orc. The, the half orc. Absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. 
But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn what fuels his power. Okay, we will f we will figure it out. But um, yeah, the half orcs are not gonna like this. But I feel like I I I I have to get a chance to persuade her, right? Okay, so problem. I need to reach the roof somehow. I need to get a ma a moon lantern. There's nothing I can do. I I'm not gonna attempt to go through the shadow curse lands without the moon lantern. So I I am definitely trying to move forward here. Mercy, you showed the goblins mercy. <laughs> Oh god, there's so much to do here. What is this? Find out where the tieflings are being held in Moonrise Towers. Disciple Zrel. Um, Disciple Zrel, isn't that the person that we... Oh, who? Whoa. Whoa, I didn't save. Whoa, I didn't save. I didn't save. Give me... Give me... Sorry. Sorry. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciple Zrel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Uh, I need to go to the roof. Timing, true soul. Oh no. Tell me how they no, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free. And a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself. No, you, you know, you see what happened was I, I, death was too good for them. You, they have to suffer in life, okay? Dead, they're a waste. Free, they spread the word of the absolutes. Deception, that's good. They won't get far. Let the curse take them and save us the job of cleaning up their innards. You said I would do whatever I wanted with them, so I did. Let's persuade. They won't go far. Let the curse take them and save us the job of cleaning up their innards. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. When it counts, it counts. God, I appreciate. Very pragmatic, but very boring. I'm sorry. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. Ah. Uh, the folds of your mind again. Please don't Touching look very far. Lips, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind. She seems like a very tough, so true soul. Purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your. Faith. We got this. We've got this. We've got. <laughs> Distract her with your lust for a starian. Let's just show her a world of smut. What my Instagram feed currently looks like right now. There's not a lot of persuasion to that. I would. I would honestly do that to anyone. Since starting my Baldur's Gate adventure, my feed is literally just Baldur's Gate fan art of Estarian and Halzen. And I'm telling you, I don't even want it, but it's it's unbidden. It just shows up in my feed unwarranted. And you know what? I'm not, I don't hate it. I, I don't hate it. Uh, fake it. Fill your mind with the love of the absolute. Rogue deception. Think of the thieves can't masking your true thoughts of the absolutes. Distract her by drawing her toward your hunger for power. Uh, overwhelm her by unleashing a wave of hatred as you prepare to attack. Uh, I would... <laughs> I would love to do the rogue deception, but I love this idea. <laughs> the the Celeste for Sarian. <laughs> oh, let's just use every bonus in our arsenal here. Let's go. Oh, get ready to be, get ready for the, the lust, Zrel. Get ready to be bombarded with just absolute filth. My, my. Sorry, I'm sorry, for the neck pricker is succulent. <laughs> I'm like doing a bite out of him myself. Uh, no, no, with the absolute, your fantasies can become more real than flesh. No, the pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Show me the power she gave you. Good for you. How do I get exactly what I want? What exactly do you want? Uh, show me the power she gave you. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut- Oh, sorry, it approves! With a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best <clears throat> way to do that 
Is this show you more Astarian? I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the general, the closer you'll be to the army. It's so funny that I don't make it so obvious that I'm talking to someone in my head. Yeah, let me just close my eyes and just slowly bob my head as if I'm listening to some outer outer voice. My 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 Jiminy Cricket, so to speak. Yeah, they make it so obvious that I'm clearly listening to something in my head. I live to serve. What do I need to do? Oh, do you? Well, it so happens that I have a price. I think that's a good option. Why should should I serve Gen General Thorne? Is it true that General Thorne is invulnerable? Huh. I live to serve. What do I need to do? There is a relic that General Thorne requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorne family mausoleum. Oh no. Oh no. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Can we convince her we need the we need the moon lantern? Understood. I'm ready to head out. What exactly the relic? Uh, yeah, we know what the relic is. We clearly know what the relic is. We even mentioned it in our recap. You said you lost contact. What do you mean? And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. Uh, understood. I'm ready to head out. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and high. Boom! You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Well, if you tell me not to snoop, the first thing I'm going to do is Snoop. Ooh, Zrell's personal reminder. Balthazar has sent neither word nor notice. Whatever he's gone is, wherever he's gone is a mystery. He needs someone to investigate his chambers, but no doubt he's rigged the thing to high hells, perhaps hobgoblins. Oh my God, everyone attained inspiration. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with what we've got so far going on. Um, the thoughts of a starian made me cry laughing. So whenever I like exude a lot of like my, maybe it's my, maybe it's my smile, but whenever my smile gets too wide, my eye, my, my eyes start to water a lot. So I always have to like wipe my tears away, even though I'm not crying. I'm just, it's just I'm overly enthusiastic, okay? Okay, I'm really happy. So it really does prevent you. It's like, hey, you really need to go to Moonrise or you need to get yourself a Moon Lantern. Either way, you gotta get sh something done here. Missive from Ketherick. Keep your hands to oh. yourself. You're being watched. Sorry, yeah, you know, I thought this information was, you know, for all. Of course, I am in the wrong here. Can I go in this door? Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's a corpse in here. Oh, I don't know if he knows this, but there is a corpse in his room. Oh, there's two corpses in his room. What lovely decorations, you know? Hole? Did I open something? Uh, the door just closed. That's awkward. Uh, uh, guys, 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 there's poison, 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 poison. Oh my God, why did I go? <laughs> okay, well, this makes a lot of sense why there's dead bodies. <laughs> now I see, I was sitting there like, why is she threatening me not to look into secrets? She's clearly not gonna know. I am too stealthy, says the person who just fell into a trap. <laughs> Let's get ourselves the moon lantern, which is right here. Oh, it's so handy that he managed to just have one laying around. Balthazar's personal notes. Don't mind if I do. I do like reading. Install a drain. Note, install a drain beneath library's conventional medicine shelf. It's a wasteful to, it's wasteful to let all that blood seeps through the flagstones and it will rust the spikes. Besides, a line slashes through the above, the same hand in fresh ink below. Disregard, the smell gives me a sweet <laughs> Conventional medicine shelf is waste. It's wasteful to let all the blood seep through the flagstones. So he's telling, he's telling us that the blood is clearly a sweet smell to him. That's nice. That's very reassuring. What helps you guys sleep at night? Is it blood? You know, I can't say that that's 
something that helps me fall asleep, but to each their own. This is called the Attention Acolytes. A reminder, acolytes are permitted entry to my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with. While the Absolute appreciates your eagerness to learn, my bookshelves do not. Any request to borrow from them must be given to me in advance and are like to be are like to be refused. Should you desire information on poisons, do not think to read any tome on the subject here. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word could provide. Remember, the absolute's purpose is better served by beating by a beating heart than a poisoned mind though if you choose death i will ensure you serve her still is there a way for me to discover how to not get poisoned here <laughs> i like collecting the story of the githyanki prince that's cool i'm gonna have to read it uh lever <laughs> i have a feeling the lever is not going to be a good thing either okay let's pull the lever I saved. We're pulling it. I want to see what happens when you pull the lever. Did I get locked in the room again? No. Oh, it opened the door. Oh, hello. Charred prayer book. My dark goddess. When I lost my daughter, I learned my purpose. My dark goddess. When I learned my purpose, I gathered the flock. My dark goddess. When the flock was full, I punished the wicked. My dark goddess. When the wicked struggled, I struck them down. My dark goddess. I am yours. I wouldn't have... Wait, what? What she... Sometimes I don't get to hear the dialogue. It's very frustrating. All right, lockpick time. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Try again. I'm gonna need some seriously high rolls here. Come on. Come on, I'm close. I need a serious like 20 roll. Ah! Woof. All right, guidance. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Let's go. Well, never liked stairs. Karlak is inspired. Oh. Stand, soldier. These are the general's private quarters. Wait. Something in your scent is familiar. Whoa, okay, first of all, Astarian has no body. I have no head and I can't see half the screen. I am so sorry that I have no control over these camera angles. Persuasion, I'm just going to explore the tower. I mean no harm. Performance, give her your best salute. Intimidation, down, lapdog. A true soul walks where they please. Stay still and let her smell you. Show her scratches ball. <gasps> Show her scratches ball. I am a friend. I have some food to share. This is a lot of options easy i'm leaving stay still and let her smell you i don't yeah let's do that i do not know your face but your scent salunite magic it used to fill these halls back when i was flesh since my master brought me back this place smells wrong his family is gone, replaced by bootlickers and beasts. Aww. You are neither. So tell me true. What is your purpose? We can be honest with the uh, with Squire. Deception to serve Ketherick as a, as loyally as you do. I love that. I only want to stop the absolute. Your master's beyond saving. I'm here to end him. So I, it's hard for me to say, but I think that this dog doesn't like Ketherick very much. I have favorable beginnings, guidance, and deception proficiency. I hope that this is the right answer. Come on, let this be right. Okay. Death itself cannot release you from that duty. <clears throat> business, whatever it is. My scent seemed to trigger a memory in you. What is it? Not your scent. Salunite magic on your skin. The general once smelled that way when his daughter still lived. His daughter? Died the same night she did. My master says, trying to protect her. I do not remember. Oh no, that sounds so sad. I will not fail him again. I I'm starting to see a story that's kind of sad. I'm gonna save because that was amazing. I love that we got through the door. <clears throat> All right, here, here my theory. What if the dog 
served the girl that's trapped in the cage. The girl in the cage, this is her dog. She tried to protect. I don't I don't know. That's what that's starting to be the pieces I'm starting to kind of piece together here. Can I pick things up and Oh, invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. Wow, this is a lot of really good stuff. Apostle Apostle Diary Sueletto's Ethic of War, Opulent Chests, Under the Floorboards. I can lie in his bed, why not? Elder Brain Domination, Confidential, Dictated to Scribe Yeneth Yenthus by General Ketherick. Young Gortosh's plan to enslave an Alith... <clears throat> an illithid elder brain and make it our marionette under control of the crown of Carsis has proceeded almost without flaw, barring the slight delay with our ballast, ballast to allies sorted out their leadership conflict. The weak point must surely be the sharing of the nether stones. It was necessary to secure my engagement of that and that of the murder cult. Sorry, jeez, I can't read. But eventually it's certain to fracture our fragile allegiance. Clearly all three nether stones must be controlled by a single leader, me by preference, but not until after all the stakeholders have made their essential contribution. Gortosh fears that, energized by the dark energies of the crown, the brain we now call the absolute will eventually metamorphose into something new and more difficult to control. If he's right, the need to invest the power of the nether stones in a single wielder is urgent, even more so in that Enver Gortosh at least must be thinking the same way. Okay, we need to stop. I am I am diving too deep. I need to stop here because <laughs> otherwise we're never gonna get through this. My head is starting to explode. Also, what amazing dialogue options we had in Moonrise Towers. We 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 sent dirty imagery to a true soul of me and Astarian. Clearly, I wouldn't think that. I would, I would, I would be honored, honestly, to receive those types of images. I'd be honored. And then we managed to get the moon lantern, which I was sitting there thinking we have to get the moon lantern. There's no way around it. We went there. We got it, got all the way to the top, got some soul coins, fought some baddies, convinced and talked to two animals today. I think that's a huge achievement. Don't forget to leave me your comments. Of course, like the video and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.